Well guys, welcome back. Um, so, long story short, we were camping. Um, I saw this, I was on Marketplace, I saw this fish house, cause you know, winter's coming up. And um, I was like, maybe I should start looking for some flip over houses, you know, something portable. And I came across this one it was a clam i think it was a clam clam something i don't remember but super nice house and I, it, they wanted like 600 bucks for it. i was like oh sweet um i didn't message him right away and then when i was going to it ended up saying it was pending so obviously somebody was going to look at it now it ended up selling, and so I was like, well, I got, okay, that happens, you know, whatever. Just keep looking. And right away, I ended up finding a Clam Voyager Ice Team Fish House. Uh, Two-person, thermal, all that good stuff, right? So this morning, me and my dad went and picked it up. Um, looked at it. The guy said it. He only used it one time. Um, it looks brand new, and obviously these houses aren't super cheap to begin with, brand new. And um, I mean, it wasn't a terrible price to a lot of people. Yeah, it's kind of on the spendy side, but um, for what it is and what he was asking for, it actually wasn't too bad. So um, right now, I have it. Right here, as you can see, Ice Team Edition, obviously. Um, obviously, it's got the deeper tub. I'll get into that. And uh, I guess right now, I'm just going to um, take cover off and then flip it over and just show you guys um, what we're dealing with here. So... Alrighty, got set up, holy crap. With it being thermal and uh, about 80 degrees right now, with the sun just shining, it's very, very hot out right now. But um, yeah, so as you can see, we have the fish house all set up. Um, just to get a quick walk around, that's what you guys will be seeing. Um, it does have the two side doors, also with the back door, and then um, also the oversized flap, so when you throw your snow on. Um, like I said, this is the Ice Team Edition. Um, it is the Voyager Thermal X. So... We can go in here and just, uh, you know, walk around in here and show you really how actually nice size it is. Um, so we walk in here, um, two seats, center console, or I guess, yeah, center console, I guess you say, back door, um, does have the LED light bar built in. And then it, um, yeah, so as you can see, it is very, very roomy. I have plenty of room in here now. Obviously, it's, um, you know, roomy as of now, just because we don't have all our ice fishing gear in here. But as I was talking about earlier, does it is the deeper, deeper sled. Um, you know, a lot of people would say go with the, you know, the 
more thinner one, the not so deep, just because it's lighter, you know. And you know, I thought about that too, but with all the gear and stuff, especially two people, um, a deeper tub will be more efficient and and will hold mine or our gear um, in the sled a lot better. Um, when I did buy it, it did come with that battery tray, um, along with that obviously. And uh, yeah, all I can say is that it is a super nice house. Um, you know, it's got your little netting up here on the top for your gloves, your hat, whatever it may be, if it was wet or you just like needed to get it heated up because it is gonna get nice and warm in there. Um, it has very nice big air vents up here and yeah i know it is what does it say august i think it's august 16th i think okay august 14th but you know so i still got a long ways before lakes start freezing over and we can actually start ice fishing but this is just the beginning and I'm hoping to get a lot more but um, it's crazy to be even seeing this because this thing has been up since the beginning of summer and uh, you know a lot of people like myself are now looking at these just because winter is coming and yeah i got i'd have to say i got lucky if i was any if i was like a day later of messaging the guy i probably wouldn't have this right now because according to him uh after i messaged him uh within a couple hours later he had a dozen people messaging him right after i did so good thing i messaged first and didn't have like have to wait for anyone else you know i was the first guy to go and look at it and like i said he only used it once and it is in super good condition uh but yeah i couldn't be any more happier especially with i mean like i said brand new and it looking brand new that price brand new is like ridiculous and then for what i got it looking brand new used is amazing so um yeah i do want to get so in here they make a whole bunch of clam makes a whole bunch of different accessories uh they make rod holders back there they make the corner tray um you know a whole bunch of different accessories and i'm hoping that i can uh get my hands on a couple of those i do need to put um some runners under the sled just so um the sled doesn't get damaged at all or anything like that because i mean runners may sound expensive to begin with and yes they are but it's either buy hundred dollar runners or buy a probably double that for a whole new sled and you definitely do not want to be buying a whole new sled um and another cool feature that they have on here is the um handles here um i don't know exactly what they're called but you know on a whole lot of other fish houses they have um just a little piece that you push in and then the pole should fall down you know well these especially if you're wearing gloves and it's kind of a pain you just push this down you know push it down and it'll push that piece in and then it's so much easier for your poles to come down and collapse and you know anything like that um but yeah i do like how these poles are definitely thicker 
as you can see like there it is definitely a lot more thicker um that that'll help a lot too like i said i'm super happy with it um and just super super excited to use it this winter and yeah so that is what we're looking at here um the voyager thermal x ice team edition fish house um if you guys have any questions at all about this house leave them down in the comments and i will try and um you know get back to you as soon as possible um super excited for this winter but first before ice fishing we got to do we got to go do some bow hunting so bow, bow opener is here in a couple weeks it is i believe september 17th and before i buy any more ice fishing things i have to get uh a couple more things for um my bow that i've been wanting um so this is just the start for the ice fishing adventure this year so with all that being said if you guys enjoyed um learning about this house or anything like that hit that like button smash the subscribe button so you can follow along with our ice fishing and bow hunting or any hunting this season and we will see you guys in the next one